Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. Thank you so much for joining me on this Tuesday morning for a hot cup of coffee and a hot cup of the Word of God. Yitro is our Torah portion for this week, and our passage for the di- for the day is Exodus chapter 18, verses 24 through 27, and we're just going to read them all because it's, uh, it's a very small passage. It says, so Moses listened to his father-in-law. In other words, he took his father-in-law's advice, even though he's kind of a baby in the faith. He acknowledges that his elder, his father-in-law, has wisdom and great life experience. And it says that he did everything that he said. Moses chose capable men out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. They judged the people at all times, the hard cases they brought to Moses. But every small matter, they judged themselves. Then Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went on his way into his own land. Moses, in loving his father-in-law, respecting his father-in-law, hearing his father-in-law out, and confirming his advice with the Lord and heeding it, was a great witness to Jethro. And Jethro became a a convert to the faith of the God of Israel, of the faith of the Israeli people. And verse 27 says, Then Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went on his way into his own land. Okay, he was a priest of Midian. So what's he going to do now? He's got a total career change ahead of him. He's going back to a pagan people who worshipped a pantheon of gods. And now he's saying, no, no, guys, you know, our Midianite gods, they're nothing. They're nothing in compared to the God of Israel, to Moses' God, to this Yahweh. Let me tell you about him. (laughs) Moses was fulfilling the Great Commission before the Great Commission was even given by Yeshua. In Matthew chapter 28, 18 through 20, it says, Yeshua came up to them, the disciples, and spoke to them, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Moses just made a disciple of the nation of Midian. <laughs> it says, Immersing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. Moses taught Jethro the Torah of God, the same Torah that he, he taught Israel I- I- itself. And it says, and remember, I'm with you always, even until the end of the age. So Jethro converted and instantly became a missionary. And Moses sent him out on his own great commission to win over the Midianites. See, that's the whole thing about winning people to the Lord is you make disciples. You just duplicate disciples. You're a disciple. You make somebody else a disciple. They, in turn, make somebody a disciple. And I mean, you, you take you take uh, you know uh, um, Peter and John, uh, who had Clement and Polycarp as disciples, and they wrote letters of their own, powerful letters that we as believers still should read, even though they're not canon. They're very valuable to us. That's great advice. And then they, in turn, had disciples, and so on and so on, all the way through the centuries. And uh, so that is what we as well need to do. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.